Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? This is Freedom By Me. Uh, today we have a full review here on the USMC three-day Philby Assault Pack. Okay, let me get this guy out of the way. So this is current USMC issue. It comes with, it comes in coyote brown. It comes with all these great uh, Molly attachments down here in this big pocket, up here in this upper pocket. You can see I've got an IFAC and an administrative pouch attached to it. Got all my fire starting and administrative equipment on here. Got a nice big flashlight in this pouch here. You could obviously put a uh, triple mag pouch here, uh, three by two. Carry six mags right on your pack if you wanted to, uh, or any other Molly attachment or accessory. Uh, we open this up down, look down here. We have a big pocket on the rear of it right here double zippers so even if one breaks you're not out of the game got a nice big pouch down here with the secondary pouch right here so you got two compartments in there holds a lot of stuff in that i'm going to say this compartment right here is probably about 10 liters has a nice big carry handle on the top as we demonstrate right here Very handy for carrying your pack around if you don't want to be wearing them on your back or if you have another pack on your back. Flip her around, we got nice padded shoulders, uh, shoulder straps with nice ventilation. Of course, we have the chest strap or the uh, waist strap rather. Um, all lots of adjustments. We got snaps on the side right here for securing equipment. This is the perfect size for a L M72 law rocket. Uh, I made a video the other day. I had an M72 law rocket strap. This it fits perfectly. Um, we open up the big main pouch here. Get this open. And the main pouch is also double zippers. So that's nice in case one zipper breaks, you have another one back up. And when both are working, you can keep them right on top so you can get it open real easy. Uh, we open up the main pouch here. We have this pocket right there. I have a second flashlight with a uh, glow dome on it, chargers, some extra medical dressings, deck of cards, just a bunch of stuff, a couple emergency ponchos. Now I have been using this as the bug out bag for my vehicle. Uh, I keep it in my vehicle. Anytime I leave my homestead, this is all the equipment I have with me. Uh, we have a tactical vest right here, a lot of mag pouches. You know, bug spray, lots of extra clothes. We have a secondary pack right here. I have, uh, let me get in here. Lifeboat rations I keep in here. That's uh, six meals worth of lifeboat rations. And I keep, uh, you know, all the stuff that you would normally keep in your bug out bag. I have all that in here. Now, one nice thing about it is even with all my gear packed into this, I still have a lot of room up the top. You always wanna have some room in the top of your bag. The reason for that is if you have your stuff out, you have to pack up in a hurry. If you got extra room, you can just jam it in in a hurry. You don't need to be all organized putting it back in there. Another nice reason, another good reason to have extra room, if you see some apocalypse pickups, something that can help you on your quest or your journey to get back to your home or complete whatever your mission may be, you have room to pick stuff up up like canned food, ammunition, whatever, whatever it is that you might find that you might feel is useful to your batteries. You have a lot of extra room in here to put that stuff in there. Okay, and then so the uh, ace in the hole of this, which is a nice surprise, is it, there's a big compartment right here that will fit an 11, 11 by 14 inch body armor panel. that I demonstrated how you can drop down behind it, behind your pack for cover, and you've got armor. So this is a 3A panel, because the main threats I anticipate facing as a civilian are pistols, pistol caliber carbines, and shotguns. But you could easily fit a level three or even a level four panel in there. It depends how much weight you want to carry. 
Uh, for me, this is a good uh, compromise, you know. Okay, so let's put this guy back in here. You know, and one of the reasons I really like having that armor option in there is, you know, I'm ex-infantry. I took an oath to defend a nation. God forbid I ever should be witness to a mass shooting or something like that. This gives me the ability to have a mobile bunker with me that I can take cover behind and, uh, you know, deal with the situation. I'm a concealed carrier. I'm out here on homestead shooting all the time. I'm a better than average shot. And if I can help people in a time of need, I will absolutely do it. You know, like I said, I took an oath. But if I had to get into a tactical footing, I have everything I need right here to make that happen right away. Obviously, being standard USMC issue, this is going to take any amount of abuse that a normal person is going to give it for many, many years. It's a very solid, it's a lightweight pack when it's empty. It's not overly heavy. It's a good heavy-duty material. It's, I don't know if it's outright waterproof, but it's got a very high level of water resistance. It has this little section right here of Velcro that you can feed a camel back through. Uh, you can also use that armor pouch I was just showing you for a camel back. In fact, if you're running a 3A like I am, you could fit a camel back and the armor in there. So that's a very nice feature. Uh, it's got this nice coyote brown color, good camouflage. You can attach burlap strips or vegetation, all the molly points. Uh, you know, if, even being coyote brown is a good camo color, but if you're out in the field, you get this nice and dirty, it's going to get a nice natural scheme all of its own. So it's not going to give up your position. This is overall a very, very nice pack. And uh, by the way, those camelback attachment points are on both sides. So it's fully ambidextrous as well. Uh, you could also use this to put equipment that's too long to fit in a pack to stick up. Really, really like this. Uh, this is from my good friends at ArmyNavyOutdoors.com. This is a really, really, really nice pack. And uh, I think if you buy this, you'll be very happy with it. All right, folks. Thanks for watching our review. You all have a great day. Freedom by me.